<laughs> my gay heart. Oh. Uh, how and why are they showing this to kids? Uh, they've always shown kissing in cartoons? What? That's a man and woman. Women. Women. <laughs> uh, those are rats. <laughs> well, mice, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's up, my bearders and weirdos? One topic here. And today we're diving into r slash Sappho and her friend, which is where straight people just don't, they don't get it. They don't understand <laughs> just so many things like that first post. And we're here to laugh at them being ridiculous along the way. Oh, and before we get started, remember at the start of the last video where I said, hey, did you know that YouTube randomly unsubs you sometimes? Well, <laughs> look at this. <laughs> Hundreds of you commented and said, oh yeah, that happened to me. So if you haven't caught the last video yet, you should. It's really good. I worked really hard on it, <laughs> even though YouTube demonetized it and then later remonetized it. So that's fun. <laughs> Feel free to scroll down and uh, check that you're subscribed now to to be roommates of the channel. If you'd like, <laughs> then we could joke and we could say, oh my God, we're roommates. It's awesome. <laughs> All right, let's get started. Hey, fellas, why can't girls do this? Oh, no. <laughs> There's no way. There's no... Shut the front door. <laughs> <sighs> Assuming this is real. Fella, have you been outside? <laughs> Two fair men lie in water, warm and slow. As brothers are they joined, heart to heart. But Cupid hath not struck them with his bow. Lest that be thought, they sit five feet apart. Are you f***ing kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> I know there's going to be at least a handful of people that don't catch on to this one, but... Oh, that's so good. <laughs> Appreciation post for all the sapphic representation in Steven Universe. I'm sorry to break it to you, but then lesbians isn't canon. This is because they're not even humans. So human terms don't apply to gems. <sighs> they're not even females. As they don't have a reproductive system. Nor genre. G genre? And yes, they're based off females, but they're not. <laughs> My sweet friend, this is a cartoon. <laughs> I'm sorry, but Princess Gubblebum isn't a real princess because she's made of Gubblebum. Bubble. <laughs> so she can't possibly be in a relationship with Marceline. <gasps> Didn't you know that vampires are even real? There's no way that they can be real. <laughs> Please. A woman asked, who's the bride? And I pointed to my fiance and said, uh, both of us. And she was like, oh my God, I've never had two brides. Are you getting married on the same day or? <laughs> Girl. <laughs> Girl. Uh, <laughs> Good non-gendered words to say instead of dude to someone who doesn't want to be called a dude. Buddy. Bud. Pal. Neighbor. <laughs> Australian voice. Mate. Cowboy voice. Uh -huh. Partner. And don't forget, strong Russian accent like Siberian winter. Da, comrade. Здравствуйте. Приятно познакомиться. Как дела, comrade? Виригарицы по-русски? Да? <laughs> We're going to show you a series of photographs, and I want you to tell okay. me the first thing that comes to your mind. Okay? All right. All right. These men are gay. <laughs> not that there's anything wrong with it, they look but really they sweet. are in fact Oh, I gay. love his tattoos, actually. that they are not hmm. gay? No. That's two girls being friends. Do you believe <laughs> these women may be gay? They're just being friendly. <laughs> these men are gay. That's just two girls being silly with one another and quirky. Do you believe these girls are gay? I wouldn't jump to conclusions These women are here. roommates. Oh, you know how women are always touching on each other? That's ah, just two girls touchling. who are really great friends. These <laughs> men are gay. <laughs> no, no, they're more than five feet apart. They're very straight. <laughs> two girls sitting in a hot tub because they're on a girl's trip. Bubble bath, red wine combo. Oh. <laughs> Girls trip as friends, <laughs> as vacation roommates. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> same sex historical figures passionately f each other and sleep in the same f bed. My dad, they were wrestling like a man. Manly men wrestling as roommates because they're men. Do you know what that means? <laughs> they had to see each other's. Whoa! Because it showed them they were men! <laughs> Dad! 
If you want to wrestle your homies, you can wrestle your homies. <laughs> P.S. How do you define what a straight natural woman is? It's a fact that every natural woman finds the female body extremely attractive and alluring. <laughs> Just because a woman hasn't physically gone there yet does not mean she is straight. Oh, <laughs> okay. That had me in the first half. <laughs> Behold, the rare reverse Sappho and her friend. Huh. Hmm. <laughs> I did! Just sharing that not if you don't want babies, don't have adult fun time with your spouse. Easy peasy. It's great! We have so much time to go to our church, read, and pray to our God! God. Don't worry, we never have a party on our own. Either. That's sinning. My husband and I are staying pure until the end. When he gets tempted, he always goes to his friend Ryan's house to pray and read their Bibles together and exercise. <laughs> <laughs> it's like magic. He comes back a bit sweaty, but not tempted by anything at all for like a week. God is good. <sighs> it had me in the first half again. <laughs> hmm. Ryan, huh? Hmm. <laughs> 1884. Man drying his leg. Wow. I'll never forget reading a label next to this work saying, It is hard to imagine how Keller Bed would have been in the position to observe this nude model. Is it? Is it hard to imagine? Hmm. Lesbian couple not giving a damn about the 1950s. Hell yeah. <laughs> I love how fashionable everybody was back then. She's just mimicking her husband. <sighs> Get the fudge out of here. <laughs> you need to laugh about the blatant eraser of gay figures in literature and history, lest you begin to cry over it. Achilles! When I die, please mix my ashes with Patroclus so we can be together in the afterlife forever. Historians! Uh, I wish my best friend would do this. <laughs> Horatio! I would rather die than live without you. Hamlet! If you ever loved me, you need to live. Literary scholars! Me and the boys better be like this when my time comes. Oh, huh, a hundred. <laughs> Historians, you know it's okay to make friends, right? Everybody wants that for you. Aw, they match. They're getting married. It's just mannequins. Two guy mannequins in wedding clothes under a wedding arch. It's just showing off the suits. Oh, honey. <laughs> what? Two men standing next to each other ain't gay. <laughs> Context clues. <laughs> Every best friendship starts with... When I first saw you, I thought you were rude. Oh, oh, that look though. <laughs> Tag your bestie. Oh. 15,000 besties. <laughs> I don't know about that look though. I don't know the besties, okay. <laughs> can a straight girl fall in love with another girl who is straight? Yes, it can happen. I have always been attracted to men and so is my partner, but we have been together for six years now. I think if there's an emotional connect, the physical relation comes easily. Initially, there were a few problems with intimacy. I mean, being straight, it's difficult to understand and engage but i am deeply in love and we are planning on living together maybe get married so yeah it can happen and be of long term um, uh, <laughs> not that i can label it but it could be bisexuality could be demisexuality it's just it's less likely to be straight than you might think i think <laughs> look at those two always together yes, a exactly. beautiful friendship yes, exactly. Gals oh being yes. pals. Bestest of friends. <laughs> oh, is that Dea? Yeah. <laughs> I love Dea's comics. I love how their sweater says straight. That's so good. <laughs> I'll buy you dinner on Uber Eats, Santa Pomu. <gasps> good friend alert. I'm her girlfriend, actually, but thank you, Uber Eats. Get ratioed. <laughs> I love reading about men in history, like... Unfortunately, he never found a wife. Mm -hmm. His elaborate scarf collection sold for 1.2 million in 2011. He and his closest male friend, Chauncey, with whom he shared a bed, died within weeks of one another. They were known for their dinner parties. <laughs> Church of Christ. God does not accept homosexuality, so we don't either. 1 Corinthians 6. Come worship with us. <laughs> Fun fact. Me in the white shorts. Aw. Fun fact. Me in the gray shorts kissing the cutest boy in the world. Aw. Okay, I think that last one might be joking, but it says, but they are both boys. Why are they kissing? What will their girlfriends say when they see this? <sighs> I mean, if they have girlfriends, I hope they commend them for doing this. 
Why are they kissing? <laughs> I saw the words, You're not the first person in your lineage to be queer. And it's rocking me to my core. How many generations down the line did one of my ancestors feel the way that I did? Feel differently than I did? And so damn queerly it was a crime? How many of us were there? Did they have hope? Did they find peace? I don't know. At the very least, maybe I am proof their identity was never wasted. Reincarnated. I am named after my great aunt Leah. There's great aunt Leah. <laughs> when my mom talks about her, it's always framed like a disappointment. Such a shame she never married. Such a shame she never had children. Such a shame she moved away from Rhode Island. Such a shame, such a shame, such a shame. But I was named in her spirit because she was an inspiration for her. The reason she became a writer in the first place. It wasn't common for women in the 1940s to become journalists, but she fought tooth and nail to do it. You know, she never married. She never had kids. She moved away to Boston with her life long friend and rarely wrote home. She moved away to Boston with her lifelong friend. <laughs> Good for you, Great Aunt Leah. <laughs> Someone I know from college just got married and I was looking at the photos from her wedding and I was like, oh my God. And there was a girl in the background who was also wearing white. <gasps> and so I started just like kind of looking over and looking at other photos and I could see that she was in like, it was definitely like white, like not like a floral <laughs> pattern, not like, like it was like a white dress. And so I was like, oh my gosh, like I need to figure out what happened because I'm getting married here soon. And I'm like, obviously nervous about anything going wrong. And I found her tagged in a photo and I was like, oh my gosh, like I have to go look at her page and see what kind of girl would wear white <laughs> to another girl's wedding right um keep in mind i don't know this girl that well we're friends on facebook and i saw that she was getting married but i i didn't know anything about the person she was getting married to or anything anyway get to the girl's page click on it she also was getting married that day because they were a lesbian couple so, <laughs> congrats <laughs> Aw, there was an update and it's so funny. Okay, please tell her this is so funny and I guarantee they're gonna laugh super hard. Also, just tell her your wedding stress, Lamau. <laughs> I hope this isn't a weird question, but I already know what you're gonna ask and yes, I'm screaming. <laughs> so he said it to me, he thought it was funny and I legit was like, oh my God, I know that girl from undergrad and we did a group project together and I love her, Oh, And she was like, could she have seen our pictures? Keep in mind, we're literally in the same hotel. She's in the bathroom and we're both laughing so hard. It sounds like there's an earthquake. <laughs> and so we go and look and you're friends with my sister. And she's posted those pictures from her little kid digital camera thing. So of course you just saw the pics of me until later when we cut the cake. <laughs> I'm laughing so hard. I felt bad for almost not for following your life more closely to know, but I didn't want to be rude. Like I didn't even know you were marrying. <laughs> it made our day. She sent it to her parents too, and they put it on their family group chat. <laughs> well, I'm so glad. I wish y'all nothing but health and happiness. I can't wait to see the photographer pics. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was so worth it. I'm so glad they posted the update link there. It's kind of deep. You could, I interpret this in a few ways, but what I see is a best friend comforting her sick friend after her male lover is absent. Oh. You can see presumably male clothes protruding from under the bed with medication on her nightstand. That's the beauty of art. I absolutely love this sub. Negative 32. Okay, let's see what they let's see what they were writing about. Friend. <laughs> presumably male clothes. How? Every morning until the last. That's beautiful. I love this. And they were roommates. Aww. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> it's sad, putting it rather mildly, that we live in a time when in many quarters, two men can't embrace or weep together or speak of loving one another without arousing the suspicion that they are also lovers. Peculiar treasures. Homies. <laughs> Fellas. <laughs> Straight people. Be affectionate with your friends. Be sweet with one another. You'll make it a lot safer for the people around you. Tic Tac! Oh. Tic Tac! Oh! That's, hmm. <laughs> Tic Tac supports poly relationships. Very cool. I think they are friends, but you are free to your interpretation. <laughs> Who is Sappho? And what did he do? <laughs> we'll never be rid of this. <laughs> we might as well enjoy the ride while we can. If you liked today's video, did you know that you could do it too? From the safety of your home and tease a straight person today for not getting it. So much of it. <laughs> All right, my beardos and weirdos. I hope you liked today's video. I had a really good time making it. Check out the last video if you haven't seen it yet. It was good. I liked it. 
I worked hard on it. <laughs> we'll see you in the next one, where we take it one topic at a time. Oh, also, subscribe and become a roommate of the channel. Okay, bye! Boop. All right, get out of here.